we're gonna find out which tower is the best ceramic popper but what's funny is how many fails there are so everybody just comes in plays this challenge and tries every single combination which no lie is probably what we're gonna do but i want to start off with the boat because i always use a boat on this map just because it kind of almost perfectly fits around this circle so i feel like it's gonna be a good little fit for it maybe right i guess around the circle and we'll go with this one this one this one and that one honestly this might actually work i know we have 1850 left but this is such a good tower did I say good tower? I meant like it's an okay tower because here we go. That's fail number one. Let's go with the actual other boat though. This one. Ooh, I wish we had the 500, but this one might actually be good. Now that he shoots grapes, so I'm not really sure. I mean, was it better before? I'm not, I'm not sure. I think the boat's not the answer to be honest. So let's go with no no just just no i'm not even gonna bother that's not gonna work but glue has been new and improved if we can get this one and oh wow there we go 25 dollars left watch it be this because this is a great ceramic popper if you can hit them all which i don't know if we can how do we guarantee that he can hit all of them or he didn't plant i'll just be the right answer we'll go right here then will this be a better shot for it so blop 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 he just gets everybody else in the way, so it's just not that good. I don't, I just, that can't be it. That's too weird. Unless we put it in like a weird spot here, because then he'll get the stragglers, because the ceramics are faster. So if they come back around, he should be able to get them all. So blah, 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 blah. No, okay, not going to work. So then we have this guy, which is really, 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 really good. If he hits everything, how he's supposed to. For this much money, I don't think any of these towers are the best ceramic popper. I think all of them are terrible. But I mean, now that I'm looking at it, there's no modifier. So we have $5,000 for round 63. So this is actually a tough challenge to begin with. So the fails are totally understandable. If we can go with this, oof, we only had the extra little bit. Do we get more money? We do. So maybe that's enough for it. Actually, this one is going to work for sure. I feel like we've done similar things. It's not in the best spot placement. 100% is going to be this answer. This is such a great tower, and ever since they did that, like, middle path is what more pierce, I believe it is. This thing's rocking. This one caught my eye. It's one of the worst maps in the game. Hopefully, no cheese. Well, I hope that there is a cheese, because honestly, when I win hard percent of challenges, it's because of the cheese. And to start off with 169, 69, 1, like, you're asking for cheeses. So it's round 50, round 53, and it's extremely fast. So he's got to pop one of them. So how do we get this guy to go faster? I think that's what we're looking for here. So faster production, I guess. Moab Shredder, bigger spikes. This one, blah. He doesn't even get in the track. Are you kidding me? So let's do this one then. Faster production, Moab Shredder, and like that. He can't even hit it. Ooh, we can't get anywhere near this thing. I mean, we just need it on one side of it. So maybe this one, like, just get it in track right there. That should pop it. That should have been fine. What am I missing here? This is weird. Like, obviously, it's too fast. Oh, that didn't even get in the range. Like, obviously, it's too fast, but right there. Boom. Good. Done. Maybe we don't want faster production because... Oh, super mines? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's super mines? Why is super mines even an option at round 53? I didn't even look at how much money we had. That is just silly, and that must be a cheese, right? Or maybe the intention of the challenge was the cheese because there was no other tower that was going to make this work. Not a one. We, I mean, we can add more if we want to. We are getting either extremely lucky or better. I would say we're getting lucky to be honest, but these ones always cracked me up because just until recently, I didn't realize that you have to only like it when you win. So I saw all of these titles of like, if you cannot beat this. And I'm like, why is everybody copying this trend? And it's like a, it's a troll. It's a joke. And I should know because I'm Joel the troll. But I just couldn't figure that one out. This one tower should do all this unless it's like crazy something. So of course it's crazy regrow rate and the ceramic health is more. So how do we just get rid of regrows completely? Can we sell? We cannot. Can we have extra towers? We cannot. I want to just go with this guy right here, honestly, and just go all the way up. And this should stop all regrows and everything. It's not going to cut it though, is it? We only have one life. It was, it's, it tried. It tried. So maybe, well, do we have lead popping? We don't, right? No, no lead popping. So let's just try the one we tried earlier because this thing is a beast. And we just beat it earlier with this tower. But granted, it wasn't 1,500% regrow rate and everything wasn't silly as can be. Can you pop them all? No, you can start a massive regrow farm. That looked like Snake the game. Unless it's this, I honestly don't really have any idea, to be honest. Because nothing's really going to just work unless it's like this. Maybe? Oh, and then when he shards them all. Shabloppy. Shabloppy. No, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, 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 I've seen this a dozen times. Supreme taught me this spot for this guy a million years ago, and it works every single time. Because it just, the way it blops back, and oh, but that regrow rate is kind of silly though, huh? Ooh, 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 that's not going to work. Okay, glue gunner, I forgot about glue gunner. Let's put him in here, and go with the, t ugh, ugh, ugh. these are terrible towers. Oh, is he really good? Okay, so we just didn't get them all, but if we can get them all, we're good. So what about just directly in the middle? Would that be silly? I always like to think outside of the circle or the box right off the go, but maybe I was just being dumb. 
Maybe, maybe. Now, see how he leaves so many? So we need to get him on top of that. So start off by getting these ones first, maybe, and then we'll just go from there. So all these should be hit. And then when we spin around in circles a few times, it shouldn't matter because we already got them all. Oh, we didn't even try. You didn't even try, buddy. He just can't do it, but I feel like that is the closest answer. If we could just get it in a better spot, maybe, or I need to think a little bit better. Maybe, oh, duh, 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 duh. what a genius, what a genius. All on strong. This really isn't that hard of stuff to figure out. I'm just kind of dumb, I guess. Oh, geez, and then he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it at all. We got to try that other spot too to see if that works. All right, we're not, nope, no more of him. He's not good. But this one could be, but not this one exactly. I think we should go with the top path because now they won't regenerate, right? Will that work? So the top path, I think we have this one with that. The mortar always comes in clutch when like you least expect it because he's so bad, but then sometimes he's so good. Now he's gonna be super slow, but he'll just kaboom them all, kaboom. Oh my goodness, he's so slow. Maybe though? Maybe though? Dude, come on, you the least tower to expect. The ugly, ugly bottom path mortar. Now you might argue and be like, he's not ugly, but he is old. He's ugly and only useful in like round 98 to get rid of the fortifieds. But heck, who knows? Maybe if I wanted to waste a ton of money, I could buy this thing for round 63. Maybe. Might just now. You know what I think about when I think of LOL? Well, it's a 3% challenge, so it's gonna be a tough challenge to begin with on Cornfield and advanced map. But I think about people that say like, OMG, even though, oh my gosh, is the same amount of syllables and just as much effort to speak, but they'll say those words. You ever hear anybody that does that stuff? They'll say like, OMG, or like, even if you said LOL out loud, which I don't know why you would, but you could. If you said LOL out loud, it would still be laugh out loud, same amount of syllables. So it just makes no sense to me. Oh, we just beat it in one tr Oh my goodness, that's an LOL. Since we're on a roll, give me something difficult here. And this one looks like it because you can only have one zero zero cross pass and everything. So nothing good at all on round 28. So the first thing we gotta think about is lead and we don't have that one. This one naturally pops lead. So I think he might be a shot here, but we get one tower and we have to sell him. Oh wow, that's kind of difficult to be honest. That's kind of funny. So let's do this. And then I think maybe we should just use this tower only and just strong them all. There we go. And then at the last second, maybe buy a sniper here. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. He's too slow though, but I can make him faster. I think this one actually be kind of easy to be honest. But if I have to give up earlier on it, I feel like it's like this one. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's the difficult part is I don't know what to use. Maybe a thorn swarm. There we go. What if I just start him off early so I can start attacking sooner? So boom, boom, boom. And then start this guy. Panic, panic, panic. Like this one. But right here, stop panicking, dude. Just beat it. Oh my god. If I wasn't so slow. It's not my fault, though. My brain decides to hurt after too thinking too much. I think I drank too much coffee in the morning. Oh, jeez. I missed one. What if we start with this guy right off the go? Yes. Oh, terrible spot for it. <laughs> okay, I think we need to stick with our original plan of slowing these things down. Because we were pretty much close. I like that this turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I was so excited how good I was. And then that's not going to work. So what about something like this? And we get oversized nails. Uh, maybe, may, maybe, dude, really? You're that good? Okay, maybe it's him. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait it out with this guy. One, two, three. We're going to do it again. So one, two, and then sell it because we're going to run out of time if we don't hurry up. One, two, one, two. It's not enough time. So maybe we should just do it on our own. So like instantly buy this guy because he's good. Oh my God. God, I'm so slow. My head is pounding when this happens. Like, why does that happen to me? It's only when you're in a fast speed race. Like, if you're just casually playing the game, you'd be so fast at this. And then, like, now it's terribly slow. But just get all those stupid balloons. All of them. All of them. Not just a little bit of them. All of them. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to start up a little bit closer so we have some more time here. Oh, my goodness. I'm just so slow. This one is good. Good so far. He'll hit them all. Oh, yes. So Engineer, you saved my life. I feel like we could have used another tower too, like bought and sold, but I don't care. We did it. It's for the balloon. We have to do this one. It's on Spice Islands 3%. But speaking of my challenge, you have to give this one a go. Here's the code right here above my head. It's only 100% win rate because I think Supreme and then someone else grabbed a hold of it. But you got to give it a try. It's harder than it looks. You can't compare it to Supreme. He's too good. But this one only has... 87 unique players, only 22 of them could beat it. Well, I hope I can beat my own challenge here. It's round 100 with $200,000 and you get 14 tiers. I feel like I could handle this, but the win rate is kind of slow. Let's just go with sniper first because, oh, that's not a good sniper though. I always try sniper first, it's like my new favorite tower. That's not gonna work. So what if we just hit it with this one, just zing it, just bloop. Nope, not gonna work either. 
What's another good tower? Something that just does some damage. And you can sell, so it's gonna be this one into something else maybe. Do we have enough money for ground zero? No, we need an instant kill. Just something awesome and instant. Ooh, super storm could blow everything back for an hour. I think it sees camo too. Yeah, so we'll take it down. This might actually work. So unfortunately he's not close enough or not good enough to get him popped down. So how can we fix that? Like how can we make this guy a little bit better? He has to be in range or at least close to it. So maybe, but we're talking like 40,000 damage with this tower. That's so, that's so slow. I really think Superstorm's the final answer, but we're just not gonna be able to get there because him on his own doesn't do any damage. He's so weak. So we need to take it down first, which could be, ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, could we just do this then? Just let it be? Oh, we're just a little bit short. Okay, that's fine though. Cause like I said, we could just use Superstorm to clean everything up. I wonder if this tower can just clean everything up on its own. Do we really need Superstorm? I think it's gonna come blaring out of here too fast for me even if it does work so, but that was also my fault because I didn't start him off up here because I thought his range was better than it was. So maybe if we start here, now he'll immediately attack and we can use it all the way to here, then bounce it over here and we could maybe do this. This might actually work. I have a lot more hits on this guy now. So he might be able to pop it open now and then clean it up, hopefully. Let's see, let's see, take him out. Ooh, so close, so close. I think one last try with this guy. Can't just give up on him yet. And now I've had a constant 100% hit time on him before I did not. So I think this should work. Make sure he's over here. And then I hope that he doesn't have to miss a shot here. No miss, okay, cool. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Maybe I can move him back a little bit too so he's not so, oh, but he is missing shots though. Hang on, hang on, this is it. This is what I'm talking about. Don't be stupid. There we go, blow them both back. Why'd I go with that one? Why'd I go with the long range? It doesn't matter. Just take them all out. I know they're gonna come out blazing fast, but your super storm, you cost a lot of money. This should work. Ooh! So far, so good. Those ceramics are flying out of here, but as long as he doesn't mess it up, okay, he almost lost to a red balloon, but that's cool. Whatever, whatever floats your boat, whatever spins your tornadoes. Okay, we got it. Okay, almost lost to one, but we took it. So many challenges we're knocking out today, and it's because they're like 3% and less, but sometimes those three percenters can take me the longest. Like last week, it took me like two or three hours just to take out one 3% challenge. That's only because I asked Supreme. It gets kind of weird, but then today we're blowing through them like crazy. This one's round 28. I'm assuming we're not gonna have any camo, but it's methodical madness. So that's gonna be cool. So you get to shimmer them all, I'm imagining. Okay, and then we got to, what are we gonna use to pop them? This guy? No, so they want us to pop them with this one only. That is wicked. That is so cool, because each tower has its own speciality. Now we can't do anything with that one, so then we have to glue them. Oh, that is so cool. Then we have to glue them and take them out with a sniper. That is so smart. So let's start back here, and it's just gonna be about timing on this one, but I think we should knock it out. Okay, we got this one, and then we'll go strong. I guess it really doesn't matter what we do. And then we glue. Oh, oh, I sold it because I'm a panicker. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, I tried. And then we'll, I just want to see what these do. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. Okay, so they take them down to two yellows. So you got to be fast. So it only takes three shots of these. That's not bad. He just can't hit them all. So I think it's the, the placement, obviously, but ugh, it's not good. What if it's not the sniper at all? Like we just want, no, it has to be the sniper, duh. So, but I can do this one fast. So it's one, two, three. And then put this guy out, get for it one well it's him he's the slow show like he's what's causing me the most pain right now yeah oh my you shot at those ones again oh what a dummy so i think he can hit them all if we go like this one just one at a time one at a time maybe glue isn't the answer at all how fast is the bomb though can i just put it here like can he does he have to be in that spot no he doesn't oh wow okay and then just hit these up all you can i just don't think glue's the answer because it's just he's just so bad he's so bad but maybe this one will work no, we don't want it on strong. I thought I was gonna put it on strong. Okay, okay, okay. I think I can figure this one out. Why is this so hard? Okay, so one, two, three, bomb here. One, two, three, four. You should be able to hit both of those. And then glue, obviously. Glue, 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 glue. One, two. Why are we doing the glue soak thing though? Why does that matter? Okay, so we'll hit these ones, hit these ones, and hit that one. And now we got some time here. And what we'll do is once they're there, we'll put them on strong and then go all back to first. Oh, see, that's just not gonna work. What if the glue is just like a decoy and we just go like this the whole time? No, I just don't think that's true. It can't be because the glue is what solves any of this, to be honest. Okay, it's the best I got with this glue. Oh my goodness, he's so bad. Glue needs to work better. But what is the hot key for this one? E, okay, so I think I can hit that a little bit faster. The glue misses so many shots though, it's just so pathetic. And it just does, I don't get it. I don't get it, to be honest. And then maybe, maybe, and they're not even glued though. 
Like I'm missing out so many. I need to find a spot that he hits them every single time and that's just impossible apparently. So this one's pretty good. He's hitting a lot of them, but again, doesn't matter because we still have all these ones here. So close. We just, that is the answer is finding where that glue does his most damage at. And that's not where I have it. Hang on, since we can buy and sell a lot, what if we just do one shot here? Like what if we just do one at a time and then take it out? We have a lot of money. I know it sounds kind of silly, but watch this. Like, okay, what if we shimmer them all is what I'm saying and then only bomb like one at a time? So then, and then we just go like this, like say, forget the glue. So something along those lines, like that's why we have so much money, I feel like. So we'll shimmer them all, one, two, three, and then we'll get one bomb on them, one, two, then we'll glue those or miss every single one of them, I guess is the better way to say that. So now we have a bunch of these ones. We can do it again and then do it again. Something along these lines, I think is what we need to actually do here. Does the glue soak work like through it? Is that how that's supposed to work? So like when I take them down, will it be forever? It should, right? That's how that works. Oh, and they stay, they stay glued. Dude, I'm so stupid. But then they don't stay glued forever. Like what's that about? So I do have time here to hit them all. I th this is a lot of time actually. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think this might be it. I So it's a little slow on my part. I did go really, really, really slow, but I think that's it. So we go one, two, three, glue them all, but we need to make sure that first one gets hit. So now they're all slow. We bomb them all, and then we get the sniper, and we start taking them out. Maybe, 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 and then maybe glue them all again even? That is 100% the answer. We just got to figure it out a little bit faster. So now we bomb them all on the strong, and then we get them all like that, quick, quick, quick. And if we need, should we glue again? I'm not actually sure here. Oh, what are we doing too? Couldn't we just do them all on strong first and then get them all the blues? Maybe though, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, we're so close, we're so close. I just gotta think of it a little smarter. Okay, new plan. Two, three, glue it immediately like we've been doing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Strong them all and put them on strong. And then put this guy immediately on strong. So we'll take down all the yellows first and then take down all of everything else. And I think that should work, hopefully. It's just the yellows are too many. So what do we gotta do here? One. Two. Oh, there's just too many. We're so close though. So I'm gonna re-glue them this time. So I think that's the trick here. Re-glue, re-glue, re-glue. And now when I take out these ones, they should stay forever. I think that should be the plan here. Come on, come on. Oh, so close. I know that's it. That has to be it. So we glue them once. We bomb them on strong. We take down a few of them, just a few. And then we make sure that the glue gunner can get all of these ones again. Yes, like right there. But then obviously we gotta pop all those yellows first. So I've left two of these ones left. And if I go like this, it should be okay. I think I was just thinking about it the wrong way and I didn't need to get that crazy. And now if I do this, it should be lasting forever, maybe? No, so close, so I know that's the right idea. So we're just gonna do one bomb and then take down those and leave those other ones for us just to clean up a little bit. Cause I know we can do it. So then we'll freeze these ones in time forever. One, two, bomb them and then snipe them. This should be okay, this should be okay. Oh my gosh, finally, this should be okay. Oh my gosh, that took way too long. And if you enjoyed that, then definitely check out this video where we take on one of the weirdest and newest maps to the game, Erosion.